There's a recent study that said 66% of millennials expect to leave their company in the next four years. And our study from years back, this was before many even reached the management level, and it cost more money to replace, to replace people at higher levels in an organization. It cost $20,000 to replace each millennial. So obviously, if you have a lot of millennials, uh, you know, a decent percentage of them leaving, that's going to cost you a lot of money. So that's why retention is important. And to take it to the next level, it's a total of $30 billion to the US economy. Um, so getting in front of this is really important. And it's kind of how I structured the rest of this presentation is what programs work, giving you examples later in the day, um, and really shining light on why these are important, not just for millennials, but for all of you in this room. The first one is flexibility. I mean, flexibility is king. It is the biggest workplace trend of the past three years. Flexibility incorporates wellness, well-being. It incorporates paid time off. It incorporates telecommuting. It's a big topic, and it has to be discussed. And it needs to be part of your recruiting strategy. It needs to be part of your retention strategy. It needs to be in the fabric of your institution. Now, when you think about this industry, when you think about what you know, these individuals do to day to day and all of you, flexibility can mean several things. It doesn't just mean telecommuting. A lot of people think flexibility means telecommuting. It could be flexible hours. It could be an individual spending a percentage of their time um, doing things that are not specific group, specifically related to their job function and the job description. It's giving them time to do things that they weren't hired to do. Uh, and really taking a little bit more control over their schedule based on their commitments, right? So people are in different phases of their career as well. You could have children. Some people might not have children. That plays a role in all of this. And because more millennials are having children, and there's so many of them, the demand for flexibility is only going to accelerate. The next thing is internal hiring programs. This is essential because if young people, so he could say he wants to be here for a long time, but if there are not the right opportunities for him to move up, for him to advance, for him to get new skills, he might not feel like that in six months, in two years, in five years. So we need to start thinking about how do we move people throughout the organization. In fact, my business partners have a study coming out in a few weeks. They partner with Cisco, and what do they find? They find that the companies that perform better financially, the companies that are recommended as best places to work, the companies that uh, employees recommend to their own colleagues and to others, um, these are companies that are structured more loosely so you can move within the organization instead of you know, coming to work and spending a, a, few, you know, a few hours looking for other jobs while in the workplace. And this, is, this happens, right? So you've got to get it in front of this. Um, and this all makes you better. Some of the programs that are not as popular anymore are rotational programs. Um, I know that you know, Raytheon sponsoring, and they have it. And there's a lot of value to those programs, right? You get to you know, travel and work in different countries. I think one of the big obstacles, you know, having worked at EMC Corporation, a big Fortune 200 technology company, years ago when I graduated college, was uh, investing in these programs, and then when the individual graduates from the program, they leave. And there's such a big investment in them. So you know, how can you create better transition points so they stay even after making that initial investment? Uh, mentoring, something that we talked about on this panel. It's so important. And when I think of mentoring, a lot of how many people mentor someone right now? Raise your hand. All right, good on you. Um, because everyone needs help. Everyone needs a support system, no matter who you are. Um, but the smartest companies, what they do is they say, let's, let's create program, a program around this so that an individual is meeting with you know, someone of an older generation, an executive, once every two weeks for an hour, right? Instead of, hey, let's just be, you know, will you be my mentor? That doesn't work, right? There needs to be ownership and accountability, and so programs are really substantial.